This is how we worship. Prepare worship with prayer. Wear proper attire. Bring your Bible. Prepare your offering. Sit properly for worship. Organize and clean your surroundings. Avoid distractions. Lift up your voice for praise and worship. And finally, give God the full attention. Let's worship! Perfect love. Have you heard of the one in heaven? Have you heard how he gave his son? Cause I have found this love. I believe in the sun. Show me your
YouTube 친구들 안녕. Hello everybody. Welcome to Sunday service. And and wow, I I see a lot of new fan, uh, friends and a lot of new faces. You guys all must have graduated from Yuabu. I'm so glad that you guys are here and I'm so excited for you guys to join us. So, are you guys ready for God's word today? Awesome. So let's dive right in. In today's Bible story, we're going to be traveling to a city called Athens, which is in Greece. Quiz time! All right, we're going to do a quiz time right now. I'm going to quiz you guys. All right, who do you think traveled to the city? I'll give you a hint. It's two people, and their names start with P and S. All right, I'll give you guys 10 seconds starting now. Go! Time's up. Can you guys guess who traveled to the city called Athens? That's right. It was Paul and Silas. And so last week we learned how Paul and Silas went to jail. So after Paul and Silas got out of jail, they traveled to Athens, Greece. Now, you know, growing up, Pastor Joe used to love, 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 love Greek stories. Um, I would learn about Zeus, the god of thunder, and ooh, Poseidon, which is the god of the sea. And there were other characters like Aphrodite, which is the god of love. You know, Pastor Joe used to love and grow up on these stories, but that's all it was. It was just stories, nothing more. Pastor Joe knew that all of these things were fake. But when Paul arrived in Athens and he looked around, he saw all the people in Athens worshiping and believing in these fake gods, which we call idols. So remember that idols are called fake gods. And Paul saw all the people worshiping them, the fake gods, that's not real. And so when Paul saw this in Athens, he got really upset. So upset that, you know, he did some things. So let's watch a quick video on that right now. God sent Paul to the city of Athens to tell people about Jesus. When Paul got there, he was upset. The people in Athens did not worship the one true God. They worshiped false gods instead. Paul told the people about Jesus. He told them that Jesus died and came back to life. Jesus is alive. The people wanted to know more. They had an altar where they worshiped a God they did not know. Paul told them that he knew who God is. I will tell you about the one true God, he said. Paul said, God made everything. God made all the people of the world and he loves them. God is so big. God is bigger than any temple. He is not made of gold or silver or stone. God wants everyone to turn away from their sin and turn to him. Paul said that God sent Jesus to rescue people from sin. He said Jesus had died and come back to life. And some of the people laughed. Some people wanted to hear more later. And some people believed Paul's words and they believed in Jesus. Paul taught the people in Athens about the one true God. He told them that Jesus died on the cross and is alive. People can know God because Jesus brings us in to God's family. So Paul and Silas arrive in Athens and Paul is very, very upset to see all these people worshiping idols, to see all these people worshiping fake gods. Now remember, boys and girls, last week, and all the weeks before, we learned that Paul has a mission. And that mission is to tell other people about Jesus Christ. To tell other people about God. 
the one true God. Not all these fake gods in Athens. Not all these idols in Athens. And so Paul saw this and it upset him. And so Paul said something. Here's what Paul said. For as I walked around and looked carefully at your objects of worship, I even found an altar with this inscription to an unknown God. So you are ignorant of the very thing you worship. And this is what I am going to proclaim to you. And that was actually true. In Athens, there was an altar that read to an unknown God. To an unknown God. A God that they didn't know. Can you imagine worshiping and believing in a God that you don't know? How interesting. And so Paul began sharing about our God, the one true God, a God that we do know and we know very well because we have a personal relationship with God. This is a God who loves us so much. And he loves us so much that he would send his son, Jesus Christ, to die for my sin and for your sin and our sins. That's how much God loves us. And so Paul was saying this to the people of Athens, and some people began to believe in Jesus, and amen. That's amazing. But, boys and girls, that's not what I want to focus on today. I know we've been learning a lot about Paul and his mission to tell other people about Jesus, but today I want us to focus on the word idol. Remember, what does that word idol mean? That's right. Idol means fake God. So, boys and girls, I want to ask you, in your life, do you have any idols or fake gods or someone or something that you love more than God? It's okay if you do. Maybe it's television. Maybe it's video games. Maybe it's your friends at school. Maybe those are the things that you love more than God. But boys and girls, I want you to remember, God loves us so much. So much that he would send his son Jesus to die for our sins. And that's unbelievable. That's incredible. And so this God is the only one who deserves our worship. And this is the only God who deserves us believing in him. So boys and girls, let's take some time to pray. Let's pray and ask God to help us to get rid of any other idols in our lives, any other fake gods in our lives, whether it's television, whether it's video games, whether it's friends at school, whatever we love more than God, let's ask God to get rid of those because God is the only one who deserves our worship because he loves us so much. So let's put our hands together, let's close our eyes, and let's pray. Dear God, I just want to thank you for bringing me here today and bringing all my friends here, even the new Yuabu kids here, to listen to your word and learn more about you. God, I'm sorry for the idols in my life, whether it's television, whether it's video games, whether it's friends at school, whatever I love more than you, God, I'm so sorry. Would you help me to put those things aside so I can truly love you because you are the only one who deserves our worship because of what you've done because you sent your son, Jesus Christ, to die for my sins. Thank you for loving me. We love you, we worship you, and we pray all of this in Jesus' name. And everybody says, Amen. Amen, boys and girls. I'm so glad that you guys were able to come and join me and to learn more about God's word. So remember, get rid of those idols in your lives, all those fake gods, Let's take them and let's throw them out, all right? The one true God is the only one who deserves our worship. So remember that, boys and girls. 
All right. Love you guys. See you next week. Bye.